The complete installation guide for Logistics Logitrack, the first one-way multimodal load bar solution for securing light to medium weight loads. The Logitrack is a two-part system, including a pocket and a track. The Logitrack system is adhered vertically with the handle pointed down and the pocket locked into the track horizontally to maximize the strength of the beam. The Logitrack is designed to be used in trailers and containers with smooth or corrugated walls and can be applied on either the peak or valley of the corrugation. After loading the cargo, determine the best location for installation. Keep in mind that multiple sets of Logitrack may be needed to safely secure your cargo. Choose an area that will place the Logitrack at the same height and position, assuring the 2x4 will be installed parallel to the floor and against the freight. This will prevent the cargo from starting to shift. The entire application area must be clean and dry to ensure proper installation. Use a dry cloth and, if needed, a scraper and rubbing alcohol to remove loose dirt, dust, condensation or frost from the application area. To ensure proper fit and pressure, always use a standard 96-inch, 8-foot, 2x4. Each Logi track contains a perforated foam insert that is engineered to apply continuous pressure between the 2x4 and the walls of the trailer or container. The Logi track is specifically designed for use in trailers or containers with an inside width of 99 to 102 inches. If the inside width is less than 99 inches, cut your 2x4 to 4 inches less than the inside width at the application area. Once Logi track is installed, it cannot be repositioned. Assemble Logi track by sliding the pocket onto the track and locking onto the pegs. Remove the tape backing from one Logi track. In a level manner, adhere the Logi track onto the determined application area of one wall, making sure that the handle is pointed down to the floor and is positioned so the 2x4 will be in contact with the freight. Remove the tape backing from the second assembled Logi track. In a level manner, adhere onto the application area on the wall opposite the first Logi track, making sure it's in the same height and position so the 2x4 will be in contact with the freight. Insert the 2x4 into one installed Logi track. Slide off the pocket from the opposite Logi track and place onto the free end of the 2x4. While pulling the pocket towards you, slide back onto the track until the pocket locks onto pegs. An ample amount of force is needed to slide the second pocket onto the track because of the outward pressure of the system. If the pressure is too great, remove half of one foam insert and try to reinstall. If the pressure is still too much, remove half of the foam insert from the opposite side and reinstall. Never remove all the foam from the Logi track. When the entire system has been installed, be sure the pockets are locked onto the tracks. Press Logi track firmly against the wall to ensure tape surfaces are fully adhered. If necessary, use void fill between the beam and the freight to prevent the freight from starting to shift. Optional tamper proofing. Loop the security seal through the slot located at the top of the track. Lock the security seal into place. Repeat for the opposite side to ensure that the Logi track will not be removed until received at the destination. The complete removal guide for Logistics Logi Track, the first one way multimodal load bar solution for securing light to medium weight loads. If present, cut and remove the security seals. Slide one pocket up and remove from the track. Remove the 2x4. Remove the foam inserts from both pockets and slide the removed pocket back onto the track. And insert the 2x4 into one pocket and use as a pry bar. Pull away from the freight using slow and steady pressure. Repeat this process for the opposite side. Continue to pry and pull the Logi track until the entire system has been removed. Use a cloth and, if needed, a scraper and a citrus-based adhesive remover to clean any remaining tape residue from the trailer walls.